Some bus zone counters and electronic gates e-gates at Johor Bahru Land Checkpoint will be closed from Friday, December 15 for upgrading works. The upgrading works, the Sultan Iskandar Building, the Customs. Immigration and Quarantine Complex CIQ in Johor are set to be completed on January 15, 2024, according to a Facebook post by the CIQ Communications Unit on Tuesday. The Malaysia Digital Arrival Card MDAC counter will also be affected during this period. Eligible travellers who wish to use the e-gates at the checkpoint have to register their fingerprints at the MDAC counters on their first visit. They can use the e-gates on subsequent visits. Travellers were advised to take the closures into consideration when making their travel plans. Heavy traffic is expected during Singapore's school holiday period from November 16 to January 2. Singapore's Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA said previously. The MDAC was introduced in January as a prerequisite to allow Singapore passport holders to use the e-gates when travelling into and out of Malaysia. Malaysia's Immigration Department said that from December 1, the digital arrival card would be compulsory for all foreign nationals. But last week, Malaysia's Home Minister Safadan Nezushan Ismail said Singaporeans travelling to Malaysia are exempt from submitting the MDAC. This sparked confusion online, with some people asking if the MDAC was still compulsory for entry via manual counters and e-gates. Earlier this month, an hours-long power outage at the Johor Bahru Land Checkpoint caused long queues at the immigration facility and heavy traffic on the causeway. Pictures and videos on social media showed long queues at the departure hall of the checkpoint building, with people waiting in the dark.